Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big. Check it, check it, check it. It's unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official, Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing. I'm a day well gone. I want y'all to stop what you're doing right now. Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. I mean, our Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, Facebook. I mean, you name it, we're on it. Just type Boss Talk Podcast 101 in Google, and it will all pop up. But if you want to see all our visuals, definitely hop over to our YouTube channel and go ahead and subscribe. But not only subscribe, we want your membership as well. But how you get to the membership under each and every video, including this one in the description section, there is a link. Click the link. It takes you straight to our membership section. Thank you very much and have a blessed day. Man, hey, man, we got a guy in here today. He don't need no introduction, man. If you're on the internet and you're watching what's going on with the skits, the stand-up, the voiceovers, this guy right here has been an incredible force, you know, basically in the comedian world. He come from parts unknown in Mississippi. We don't know where he's from, <laughs> really. We, we just know it's from down there somewhere. You, you, you all heard him. Over the internet. Kerwin, Kerwin Clay, Claiborne? Yeah, it's, Kerwin Claiborne. It's crazy. Your name is different. You spell it with a K. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to be different. I mean, it's life. Yeah. Wow, you see Did how come me is? Look how Kermit? I come again. They used to say uh, Kirby. They used to call Kirby? me Kirby or Kermit. Kermit is what yeah. I was thinking. Like Kermit the Frog. I was like, just call me Moon. Just call me Moon. Call me by my nickname. <laughs> I was Mo Who gave you that nickname? My mama. Your mama, where did that name come oh, from? My middle name, Jermaine. Okay. Yep. I like that. So, what part of Mississippi are you from? Africa. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Patterson, Mississippi. Okay. Is Born that the country? Raised. Country? Cunt deep in the country. Like, describe how deep in the deep. country. Like, deep. no street like, lights? No, we got. You got some street lights and running. We water. got a couple. We got a couple street lights. We got running water. Um, say, say, say street lights again. Street lights. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, what was it like growing up? Did y'all run barefoot? I mean, just outside, Most just do whatever. Climb on top of houses. It's, I'm talking about the country. We Did got, you get beat up by a girl? No, that because if that was the habit. I got two sisters. I was about to say, your sister didn't oh, beat you nah. up. Yeah, she did. We stayed fighting, but. That's the only people can beat me up is my you it's know just, brothers and sisters. Sister. Anybody else, you finna get it. <laughs> How many of y'all was there? Uh, is my there? mama had two, got two boys, two girls. Okay, so yeah. even it out. And I'm the baby. And you the baby, so you the spoiled? Worst, the, no, I'm the worst one. You're the worst one. No, I'm not spoiled. But you the I worst. Just, yeah. People who spoil don't say they spoil. I'm not spoiled, okay. but People I'm going to get what spoil. I want. Don't say they that's spoil. Not spoil. <laughs> that, that's being spoiled. That's not spoil. It just, you going to give it to me. Like, I ain't finna. Like you're entitled. Like, it, like you, it's exactly. Old. That's spoiled. No, I feel <laughs> like. That's spoiled. I feel like you know I'm going to get it. So why try to, you know, spoil it. Did like you, you deserve it? For, no, <laughs> but <laughs> that's sport. I want what I want. That's all. Man. Are you still like that today? Yes, yes. Still ain't, you have kids of your own? Yes. Are they like that? Yes. So he's yes. going to come back and bite you in the butt? Yep. I'm not even going to lie. I was going to say <laughs> no, but yep. My kids are exactly like that. Mm -mm, yep. mm -mm, mm -mm. So give me an instant of something um, growing up that you wanted when you was young like the worst thing and you just had to get it want it what did i want what did i want i used to always want money as, as a kid yeah i don't know why i always want money and it got so bad i used to steal it mm. like it used to be on my phone. How old were you? Oh, you let's you not stealing. talk about how old i was yes. oh, yes. but, you know you, you stealing already i'm just saying i mean I wanted it. Then go back to what I want. I want. You didn't it. need it. Just want it. No, I needed it because I needed some candy. So I was already hyped <laughs> off candy. So the money. I'm gonna tell y'all. The money was talking to me. I didn't. I didn't. I wasn't just gonna snatch it. I walked by my mama's room. The money said, Psst, "Come here." And I'm like, "Wait a minute." I kind of bagged up, and it started shining. I'm like, "Hold on." Did about five dollars worth of quarters on this table talking to me. You know what I did? Slid it up right there. When I saw, I knew my mom would go ask for it, threw it under the porch. 
When she asked everybody where it was, nobody knew. Guess what I say? I don't know. But when my brother, it was my brother or my sister, went outside to my dad going, Mama, right there. I'm like, this nigga. <laughs> Snitch you out. Snitch me out. See, and I'm the type of person, when I get a whooping, the whole house gonna get a whooping. Yes, sir. I'm not finna and go you down. didn't even care. No, I'm not finna go by myself. I ain't going down. And you didn't even have a conscience when you were stealing. You didn't say, okay, let me just take some of these coins the whole and month. leave some. I started to do that, but the rest of them, like, don't leave me. So I was like, you know what? Let me get all of y'all. And I put them all in my pocket and went outside and threw that under there. <laughs> I can't leave one of them. They, I mean, I got to get it all. Man, so when you was growing up, man, like, like, what was, was it, I mean, was you a bully or did you get bullied? Was you one of them guys in the streets, like, when they seen you coming, they like, oh, that nigga there. Man, when they seen me coming, they walked the other way. Ooh, he was a bully. Hell, I'm lying. No, I didn't, I wasn't a bully and I didn't get bullied. Okay. So, I, I don't know. Cause he the baby, he got, he got another brother and two sisters. Yeah, I I ain't, I ain't trying no to go. Problem. You wasn't Because if I had a problem, I'd call Big Brother. That's like with my sister. Anybody play with him, he coming. So I, I never got bullied. Wow. So let's where, get in. Oh, you where wanna, did the comedic. Um, I was about to yeah. ask him that. Let's get into um, the From comedy. your mom, your daddy, your sisters, where did you get this you know, funny bone? I don't know. I actually think my mama dropped me. I don't know. Because my mama not like that. She's my serious. daddy. Yeah, she's serious. My daddy, he, he ain't like that. So I don't know where it come from. Wow. Maybe, you know, you holding me, accidentally drop, boom. So your brothers and sisters? My sister liked that. Yeah, I see that. My other, my brother and my other sister? Nah. Who was the first co comedian you ever seen? Um, Eddie Murphy. First, on first. Like, on TV? Yeah. Cause that would be Eddie, the first. Eddie Murphy. I, that would be the first I'll comedian. Watch period. I watched Rock and yeah. Roll for you. Yeah, I shouldn't have watched it though. <laughs> How old were you when you watched it? I was it? little. I was little. It was <laughs> a lot of cussing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think we all go through that. I, I got on that Dolomite phase. You, that's a little bit before I, that. Yeah, that, my brother used to watch yeah, that. So I, when you're older, you go to Dolomite, then you go to Richard Pryor, then you go to Eddie. Then you go to Martin, and he just goes on, you know. Yeah, my brother, he he dole he dolemite Richard Pryor, all that. It was mm -hmm. just a lot of cussing. cussing. Like, nah, you can't watch this. Wow, I I want to just get into the fact of so Tony Baker, you like like the voiceover thing. Like, how did you even bump in and saying this is I can do this voiceovers on behind these videos? I just tried it. I always that's something I wanted to do always growing up. I wanted to do like. I used to watch like cartoons and stuff and I'd mute the TV just to see if I could say what they saying, you okay. know, figure out what they saying. So I just tried it on the video and I mean, it just kept blowing up. They was like, you need to do some more. They started messaging me videos, do this one, do that one. And it started blowing up. I'm like, it's easy. It take me one take to do it. Wow. You know, I mute it, look at it, go. You know, I'm going to tell you the same thing I told Country Wayne, like, you guys are not, uh, you know, this is something new found for everybody, you know. And I think that's the biggest thing. When Even when I talk to him, it's still a thing where, you know, other comedians, they don't, and I get right in. I guess I just dive right on in, right? Oh, yeah. Like, other comedians, a lot of time don't respect you, uh, the way you guys came into the game, you know, oh, yeah. because of the way you guys didn't go to those old old clubs. And mm -hmm. a lot of them think y'all can't even hang at them old clubs. Yeah. I'm just being real. No, you ain't, of, no, I, I know. You know, you know, on there the other day. You're not lying. Uh, it, they, they like okay, they running. They won't even do a a, a show in their own city because they know they can't bring it yeah. where it really need to be brought at. Yeah. Like, what do you think about that whole, uh, you know, just the way people people look at it, as far as the comedy world? It don't even bother me because I didn't prove, I didn't prove to all these niggas out here. I didn't prove. I didn't been the consistent for a five years straight. I didn't hear a tour, different tours, five years straight. It was a lot of people saying I can't do this. I who, couldn't do who? this. It's just a who? lot. You I, 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 nigga, who? No, I'm just nigga, saying. Who? You like, it's a lot. Of no, said. it was a lot of people like you nigga know. Say, he messy. He, he want to hear he, who it was. Yeah, but I ain't gonna say it. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it was a you know it was a lot of people saying you you can't do this. Uh, ah, you doing the weird, that gay, and then when you actually come to my show and you see what I was doing, like I'm doing stand up. I ain't doing no gay jokes. Well, my wig was was a character. 
Well, let's get into the wig. I, I, I mean, I had Brandon, I had Brandon T. Jackson here last week. Yeah, uh, week four last, he says that when he wore the wig, I, I mean, when he wore the dress, he say it it changed his whole career, and he somewhat seems as if it like it like what what it, 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 like he, he shouldn't have even yeah done like it. like you know what they call this a word they use e, e something it took away from the man who yeah uh, 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 do you believe that or do you think it's comedy? Every Spears spoke on that as well here. Like what what listen, do you because think about you become it? like a method actor because you you embody you, the characters. That so is much. a true actors just in because you never was in movies yet. Yeah, I'm in the mood. Oh, you what you want? Let's yeah, talk about I got that. A, I got a movie coming out. Oh, it ain't out yet. It ain't out yet. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. okay. We're gonna get into but, that. Yeah, it ain't out yet. But yeah. still, you know, did you you did, did you did you wear a dress? No. No. Because I'm telling you right now, no. they say when My, you put this dress, have listen. you have you ever wore a dress? I know it was Don't like lie to me we're gonna the I played a I played an old my character, I played an old lady. So okay. it was like a long uh, short it's like an old one of them Catholic Catholic how you say it like mm -hmm. a long that's a dress like a nun it dress wasn't that's a dress, dress nigga. it was a that's a dress. It, was, it was like shorts it was like long shorts <laughs> but I no it was shorts <laughs> it's not a skirt it was a long some long shorts but I ended up bringing like the short I brought it up a little bit yeah just to play the character but, but it ain't it ain't take away nothing from me cause I I, I you hey. got Miss Doubtfire. He brought he brought up a lot of names. Yeah. Uh, 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 Flip Wilson, a whole bunch of people who had done it, and and it was a thing where it, it's like you see the comedians and you know that this is a thing of art. Yeah. So so we do get that. But Ari Spears even talked about it and said that you know people be watching these things, especially black folks, watch them and laugh and love these people. The Tyler mm -hmm. Perry and all of that. They bought all of his tickets and went. They sold out. Watch it and nobody really had a. Deal about oh he wearing a dress yeah but now they're making a big deal about it. Well you know he wears a wig. We can make a deal about that. You know what I mean. But at the end, hey girl, how you doing? But we don't want to see you. You late. <laughs> uh, uh, but anyway, <laughs> anyway, as you as as you think about how the industry look at like you know uh, people who do this or that, they they try to act as if these things stop your career or push your career. Um, I don't, I don't, I can't necessarily say how it looks. To me, it's art. I love Norbit, nigga. I, do too. I throw every movie away. I do too. To see Eddie played by ten different people mm -hmm. on this damn show. Mm -hmm. I'm serious. I be watching that old, that old, what's that old boy that say Norbit? Mm -hmm. Why well, you little bitch? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that Asian man, he killed that. Yeah. And when you go back, also Eddie did that on uh, Coming to America with that old man that said. Aha, uh -huh, aha, uh -huh, that old man, that old Jewish man. So it's just a dope thing for me, bro. Mine's, and the reason I tell people, I can't speak for nobody else. Mm -hmm. The reason I chose to do my character, Keisha, nobody gonna nail it how I wanna nail it. That's why I did my stuff myself. You ain't gonna hit it how I wanna hit it. So I did my stuff myself. I ain't care. At first, it was a lot of, ah, oh, you know, saying that, you gay, you know, it used to bother me. It that bothered you. It, when I first started, it bothered me. I'm not going to lie. What did you do? You went in the coming. Let's talk, because I like to back up and go all the way in on something. You were sitting there, thought you were being funny. Yeah. You, <laughs> everybody uh -huh. laughing. Yeah. Everybody laughing. Yeah. And then you get to this one person. You one take comment. Your, all the blessings that God done blessed you with, yeah. bestowed upon you with these good comments. You go to this one. One. And it crushed. And I'm reading that sucker. I'm reading that sucker, but I have to stand up and read. I'm like, hold on, because I'm going to see what this nigga talking about. I had to see it. I'm talking about, and then I just think about it. I'm like, man, I ain't worried about this. Damn. I, I was, because I even told my sister, I was like, man, I'm finna stop doing it, gay stuff. I'm not finna do it, put no wig on. What she say? And she was like, boy, ain't nobody, you it, folks gonna be hating on you regardless. Ain't regardless. Nobody gonna do, mm -hmm. I'm like, man, my sister don't know what she talking about. I'm not finna put this Did stuff on. Did you see the comment? Because, yeah, that was it. Go read it. Stay back like I was standing back. You know how you look at a comment and you say, you read it slow, you're like, hold on, because this nigga finna piss me off. Did you respond to him? I didn't respond. I and know. the thing about it, I don't respond. Me neither. Most of the time, I don't respond. But my oldest sister, oh Lord. She, she be on that. She scanned to come in. She will oh. argue with you a whole month. 
I had to block all her page. I'm like, uh-uh. <laughs> oh, this nigga trying to, oh, he want yeah. it. Oh, don't do my brother, because I'll come fight. I'm like, Lord, let that man talk. Just let him talk. <laughs> <laughs> and and so over the time as people got used to the character, did they back off some? They did. did. They yeah. did. And when I first started, it was like nothing but females enjoying it. Now you see now it's the dudes enjoying it. Because it's not it's um it's just a character. It's, it's hilarious. I'm not doing nothing out the way. And then it's just a wig. You don't see me with dresses, all no this. mini skirts, no you none of that stuff. You don't yeah. see me with none of that. But let me ask you. So before you actually came up with this, when you thought about this character, did, did you have you it? did you have any reservations in your mind before you actually like come out with it? No, like, man. That my my character is based on my older sister. Okay, she acts exactly like this. She fights. She stay up. She go to jail plenty of time. She don't. So that's care. who you acted that's like. That's who I acted like. <laughs> And then she had to come on last year. Y'all, this is me. And I had to tell him, y'all don't follow her. This ain't what you want. Do not follow her. You <laughs> see her come up, block her. This ain't who you want to follow. I'm telling you, she, my oldest sister is something for real. Well, I had Carlos on here, and and uh, me and him was talking about it. Um, and I told Country Wayne this, too. Mm-hmm. I said, uh, me and him talked. I was like, hey, I like the drip character. I went to see Country Wayne down in... Um, down in Houston, mm-hmm. and I was like, man, I, he don't bring those characters on the stage. Yeah. The drip character, the old buddy character, mm-hmm. the, the people who people loved seeing it. I know he was doing it during COVID or whatever, but those are great characters for me, you know, just, and then himself. But the thing is, you take that character to, to the stage the same way I would envision him doing, but he still do a great job, mm-hmm. but he just don't bring it. I think that would kill it, but he told me that ain't what he what he's trying to focus and I'm on. And I'm going to say something about that. When I first started doing comedy, I was doing myself. I was listening to everybody. They was like, where in my shows, they was like, where Keisha at? Bring Keisha. And I thought about it. I was like, you know what? I do so much of this character on Facebook. Let me do my shows. When I tell you, as soon as I pop that wig on, and announce I'm coming to the city. The shows were selling out. out. Mm. Selling out. I, yeah. I know it. Yeah. Selling out. Because that's what they loved yep. you for. Yep. Yep. And that's the game. Like, for me, like, you you know, and, and Carlos said it on here. He was like, if why would I go and do, you know, because he was talking about how the older, com, all, all the older stand-up comics do their sets. Mm-hmm. Why would I go do that when I can just do what I do? The people see me do it. I go do it. It's a success. Hello. Goodbye. And I'm out. Yeah. Pretty mm-hmm. much. And, and, and I, I felt him on that. I was like, that's mm-hmm. so real. Because when people on the internet see you and follow you, they're yep. following Cause of that, they cause of that. Yep. But yep. then you know, I get it too, though, because either way, it, it can work. It's just however you want to attack yep. it, right? Yeah. So, what do you think is the biggest drawback for you? That something that was it that that you waited a while before you brought the character into it play? It was. It was. I mean, they was my show. I'm not gonna lie. When I you know first started, my shows was going good. But as soon as I did that wig, like I'm getting I'm getting booked multiple shows. Yeah. Like, I'm gone every weekend, five years straight. I'm talking about five or six shows a weekend. And did you get tired of it? Yes. And then after after about four years, I was like, you know what? I'm finna I'm finna get a little break in. But then when you do that, sometimes you're But you don't wanna you don't wanna sit back and fall off right. Kevin because it's every it's right. another nigga like you trying to come up Kevin yes. Hart had a wig on like yours yeah nah nobody was like it was kind of <laughs> it had the same color no I, my you remember sex. his too though nah nah you didn't see <laughs> it no, no. He's like, I think no. when you took that break Kevin stuck his wig on <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, you guys are dope, man. Like I said, I love the comedy world. I never thought it would have been like this when I first got into podcasting. Mm-hmm. But the comedian, it makes sense for me because I love clowning anyway. So it makes sense that I'd be sitting up here with some damn comedians. Yeah. Yeah. But, how did, but how how did you transition by putting that to the side and still kept your audience? Because they, um, one thing about me, I'm humble and it don't matter where I'm at. Like I was do, I do live like as myself, and I'm like being myself, like joking, and they laugh. Like they, you like you putting on the show. I'm like this me, twenty four seven. Yeah, because I you're joke. hilarious twenty four yeah. seven. This me right here. So 
It wasn't. It really wasn't nothing. Like I just started my new tour of myself. That's hard. Selling out. It ain't. Do you know how to be serious? Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't it takes that. a lot. It, I, don't I don't know. know. It got to be some some yeah. serious. I'm like, if you even even if we had a funeral. You no, sit beside no. me. We might oh. joke. Like, who is that, Steph? Look, I'm like, I, I can't stand that. Though. Who is that? If you no, sit saying, beside is that, is that, me, is that me, we go no, crack up. Oh, mm-hmm. I'm just like, we, we couldn't sit beside no, each other. No, I get, I got mad at him because he's trying to tr- crack up at a, a funeral. I'm like, stop. I can't what? help it because you be watching people trying to cry. Well, it was a dude at my daddy's funeral that got up and he stood and nobody knew him. And he looked at my uh, at dad's. He got up. You know when they say, "Can somebody talk?" Yeah. He said, "I don't know who this man is." He said, "But today my birthday." And he <laughs> said, "If today is my birthday and he died and he having this, he had to be a good man." I said, "What the fuck is going on?" <laughs> think about it. Now, what would you think? Like, I'm like, what the fuck? I couldn't digest yeah. it. I'm like, this nigga crazy. Like, how yeah. come he came to a funeral? You start trying to figure either. this out. I don't know. And that happened. I that, I was at my pop's funeral. I never forget it. I never forget that. So you <laughs> never. I, I can't deal with funerals like and be so. Just, but something like that. That's a. That's definitely joking. You know. What, that's, what that's, that's, that's funny. No, but, but somebody some people, else could take offense to that because they're serious at that point. Yeah, it's a, a family member, but I. I mean, I like to sit on the front row if I can just to see <laughs> who come up there. I'd be like, look, who else by me? Look, 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 look at her shoes. Look. It's some. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, some. We just have fun. Uh, like uh, he looks just like himself. Who we supposed to look like? Say, they always say, you know, <laughs> one thing about him when you see him, he look like himself. Like, I, know, I always say they lying because ain't nobody who did go to the That nigga was not looking like that. Look like that nigga light skin. He black now. <laughs> like nah, don't don't say that. <laughs> you know what? I always want to know. Okay, so with the comedy, cause you've been in the comedy for a while now, and I was just thinking about this the other day. You know how like when you go to a restaurant or you, you hear about um, you have people who are critics who go to restaurants, try the food, blah, 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 mm-hmm. give five star, whatever, write yeah. up. Do they have that for comedians? No, they don't. Do you think they should? Oh, well, they just, they, they, they are, just booing it you know the way. way. They'll boo you. You know, they, they'll, they'll put up, matter of fact, they'll put up, uh, some people put up. Like who y'all think funny? Yeah. They'll put a post who y'all think yeah. funny. I be looking through it like I want a nigga say I ain't funny. I be looking through them comments. <laughs> like nigga, what you mean? I, ain't funny. Funny. I be trying to find my name anywhere in no post. I wish a nigga would say I ain't funny. <laughs> I think they should have a job for you know critics for comedians. Yeah. Because they'll know. Because like people, us just go to a comedy show and just look. We just looking. Oh, he funny. Whatever. But. You do this, so you're looking at their art, you're looking more in detail at this comedy, mm-hmm. you know, when we not. Yeah, yeah. So if a critic is doing that, they should have all the knowledge of how to, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And really rating that person all around and not just, oh, he funny. Yeah. What? Get, who's that on your necklace? It's my brother. Your brother passed yeah. away? Uh-huh, like, what, two years? What was his name? Uh, Kevin, Kevin Clayton. What, 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 what happened? Uh, heart attack. He's yeah, young. Heart attack. How old yeah. was he? 40, 40 something, 40, I don't know. Did they have 40. complications before that? No, I don't think so. It's just. Out of the blue? Just, yep, out the blue. Is how it in the family? Like heart problems? No, well, uh, high blood pressure. High it's blood in the pressure. family. Mm. So. What did you, how did, like, how did you find out what? I, ooh, you was on the road or something? No, Tell me what I was, happened. I was at home and, um, my sister, my sister called. I can m- remember this day. I was at home with my kids. My sister called. She hollering in the background. She say, um, "Mama, Mama just called." She say, "Kevin did." So me thinking, like, I'm like, "Who?" You know, I, I'm in my head. I'm thinking, "Who then did something to my brother?" Because you know he ain't like that. That was the young. whole time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking somebody did something. That's all she heard. I dropped every like everything I do. I couldn't even function. Like this is my oldest brother, so I couldn't even function. I hit. I'm like by 30, 30 minutes from where my mama stayed. I'm flying. I'm like I'm finna go. I walk upstairs and he laying wow. face. Yeah, he was still so there. So he was still face. there. He was still there laying face down. I broke down. I couldn't take it. But wow, now. and and so he they already had pronounced him dead. Was yep. the paramedics everybody? Uh, the no, it was there? just it was just us. What? And they was like he was coming up the steps. They said he was walking up the steps and breathing hard. 
And my sister, not this sister, my other sister was like, you okay? He was like, yeah. So he ended up going in the room laying down. They normally just pass. If we go to our mama house, they normally just pass by and just check on him. So he was in there for like two hours. Some just said, check on Go up in there. And I think my mama or grandmama went up in there and said he was face down. Wow. Yep. And he wow. wasn't overweight or none of that stuff? No, not, not like, no. He, well, actually he had a little bit weight. He wasn't that big. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a little bit weight. He was probably like what, probably two. I say probably about two sixty. He was. Mm-hmm. He wasn't that big. Wow. He has kids or no? Nah. He well, his his child passed when they had him. So, oh wow! Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. how how you? I know you had to adjust, and how did you? You your family had y'all had to come together. You had to be the strong. Are you the only other brother left? Yes. yes. So you had boys. to be the you had to be now you the only brother. You, it, did it make you feel like a little bit more of a weight was put on you to be it, it that did, brother? It did because we growing up with my brother, he did everything. Like we can go to him, do like that. So when that happened, I'm like you know. Who do you go to now? Yeah, that's the thing. I'm like, uh, man. And then I had just talked to him the day before. The next day, he supposed to have been going to me. I supposed to be in Miami. He supposed to have been going with me to a show up there. I called him the day before. I'm like, listen, because he always said, I'm going to go to your show. He never been to my show. Mm. He like, I'm going to go this time. Um, I got to give me something to wear. I'm like, forget that. We can go shopping. I'll buy you some. And when they, uh, he was like, I'm going to go for real. So when that happened the next day, I'm like, I'm still think I I still I was like, you know, I'm not even finna do this show. I didn't even want to do the show, but I had to leave because it was so much. I still went and did the show the day that he passed, and still think about me getting on stage, still thinking about that. Wow. I just had to get away. And were you able to do the show? I was, but when I got done, I'm still thinking about it because it felt like a dream. I'm like, this this don't feel real, like. I still question it to this day. Well, I, I was about mm. to ask you, do sometime, do you, because you, you ever see something that remind you of him and you talk a little bit to him, yeah, you know, I, just be like, know. man, you know, like yeah. he would have did this. Or, mm-hmm. it, it's something we do. People don't talk about it much, but things that remind us of the person that we love, that we lost, we might have a conversation. I know I talk a lot of times to my parents because they yeah. both gone. I go in my backyard and just look up or either just look out and just something that reminds me of something that they would have said I might think about and yeah. I'll just speak at it or speak to it. I might not say nothing out loud, but mentally, my, I, I'm there. You know I what I mean? That. I uh, And then, honestly, since it happened so fast, I was like, I I was talking to myself. I was like, listen, I just need a sign just to know he okay mm. and stuff like mm. that. And my brother, he the type, he it's a it's a, a sound he made, yeah. like a little whistle he made. And I was outside and... I was just seeing. I was. I worried. I like. I just want to know because I ain't had no talk with him. I like. I just want to know if you're okay. And it was like a whistle sound that I it, heard. You heard it. Yeah. And I just. I just. You know. Wow. Man. He used to always do a little whistle. I can't do it. My sister know how to do it. Yeah. But I heard the exact sound at my backyard. And you know everything. That, yeah. that was your answer. I was like, okay. Man. That's dope. That, but how? Okay. So with the situation, especially because of how he passed and it was so sudden. Does that make you like go get checks up check up like pretty often? No, I'm honestly no. It it don't. <laughs> you would I'm think gonna, you would think that I'm it would. Yeah, I'm I'm not because uh and that's just me. I'm the type I try to fix it myself before I go to the like, you know. You don't want to be a guinea pig, never, do you? No, I don't. But that's something like that, though. That's what they want to do. Put you yeah, up there. They don't be knowing, yeah, they don't be knowing. Yeah, they don't be knowing. They they just want to see run all the tests. And for you to say, oh, I ain't nothing wrong. Oh, we finna give you a titanium knee. No, but something oh, like that. He probably didn't arm. even know he had heart problems or none of that stuff. True. But, but if he, he went had, and got. Yeah. He, he, yeah. But I, I you think that the <laughs> destiny going to call you home. Everybody going. Yeah, I know. I don't care how much exercise you do. I don't care True. what you do. True. I don't care how many times you go check your weight when and your blood when pressure. It's time, it's and you time. go up and let them do whatever they're doing to you. When I hug my daddy that so night. So you don't feel like you can hurry up. When I hug my daddy that night, they cut him open and the next day he was gone. So you don't feel like you didn't you hear can, me, did you? I heard you. So you don't feel like you can hurry it along? Well, I feel like they heard it along. You don't want to go there, sister. You know what I'm saying? You, know what I'm saying? you don't want to take me there because I'm the wrong one to take there. You understand? Know yeah. Yeah, yeah. A lot of times, they don't talk about that part. 
That part nobody ever talks about. True. The, it went bad. They, but, you never but, hear him say, oh, it went bad. But it's how always he didn't make it. But how, many of them, but how many of them went good? Do you have mishaps, but how many of them went good? About, I bet it's about even. Because you never hear about uh, the bad one. You know? uh, <laughs> All I say is, it's, it, it, it's a tough situation because when you cut somebody, when they're already uh, going through something, yeah. You cutting them just like if I went and stabbed him. It's the same thing. Y'all just purdy it up. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. But now you got to recover from that. Mm -hmm. And I don't think people take that in consideration. I do think it helps in certain situations, but I think a lot of times it hurts as well. I'm just going to be real with you. That's why I feel that way. So I could tell some stories because I got them either way. But at the end of the day, let's move on. Cat Williams went on Shannon Sharp, shut down all of the comedians. Uh -huh. he, he named about 42 niggas just, oh, this one got to get it. Oh, this one got to get it. Man, oh, hold up, man. I got to take another drink. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? So I'm like, man, you know, like, what did you think when you seen that, that, that whole... That whole that interview, the number two interview on YouTube today, not there has been now another one on that level, I except for Joe Rogan. I didn't watch it. What? I seen some clips on Facebook. I didn't watch because they say it's like two hour long. It is. I can't sit still for two hours. <laughs> I can't. So I watched a couple of clips where he was talking about. It. I was like, oh. Okay. Have you watched some? You've heard some responses. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, 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 I heard it. I, I read a little bit. I'm like, okay. Um, I don't know. Good that you know they didn't call your name. Yeah, they just be happy you didn't get you know, yeah. get a little bit of that. Yeah. No, Mike God. F said he wish he did get yeah. called. Yeah, he did open some doors for some folks that probably had never True. hadn't had nothing happening in a minute. I like cat crazy. He funny. He crazy. But I ain't. That's all I'm gonna say about him. <laughs> oh, he don't want. He don't want to be on his list. That is all I'm gonna say about him. Have you him. met him before? No, I actually supposed to have been on his tour. Oh really? Uh, yeah, some uh, people that. Uh, was on his tour, I guess uh, they was doing the booking and stuff, and they reached out to me. I was doing my own tour then, so I couldn't. Really. Oh, okay. Okay, well, I'm going to be real with you. You know, uh, it was a thing he said, and I know you have ties with uh, Ricky Smiley. You you went and did some stuff with Ricky before. You've been on his show. Uh, I ain't been on his show. You ain't never did open with him? No. What? Did, I, what? I, I thought uh, y'all opened together before. I I, you talking about the radio show? No, I'm talking about. Oh, I did a, a church. Show. Yeah, I did a church event with him, uh, hosted a church. That's event. what I'm talking about. So yeah. you you know him. Yeah. If you see him, you will be like, hey, what's up, Ricky? What's yeah. up? What's he up, like, Carol? Who are you? No, he won't know my that name. That nigga like, like that? Nah, he don't know me like that. He uh oh, he don't. Like, he won't even look at your comedy when he was on the show with. You. I don't know. What type of nigga is that? You know that this the real show. Listen, you ever want to come on? Matter of fact, I did when Ricky. We we kind of like lock locked in because. I was doing the old lady at that event. That's what I'm thinking. So he was handing me. I started doing my own material, and he was finding it so funny. He was giving me his jokes and saying, "Say this, say this." So really? we kept, so, yeah. so he ought to know you then. He showed sure, him he here. I had a nigga here talking about drinks. He no, we no more. He was they the walking together. I don't play no, like that girl. If he was to walk in right now, he'll probably hey, what's up? Man? Hey, what's up? That's all he'll probably say. He don't know me like that. And that been a minute. That been a long time. I wonder do Jesse said he knew the nigga. Oh, he and everybody know Jesse. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. So it's Dr. Martin Luther you. King even know Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody know so Jesse gonna make you know him. That's <laughs> sure. You, Jesse could come here and fall right now. He'll do it. And five years later, you're like, that's a nigga that fell like <laughs> me, ain't Oh, yeah. You, he'll make you remember him. Hey, yeah. man. I just want to ask you, man. Like, you had a, a dope interview with Funny Marco. I, oh, but it was funny. <laughs> It was dope, but it looked it like it was awkward. It looked it like it was some, you know, I don't know if this nigga cutting the camera like that to I make that look me. like that. I didn't know Did what this was going nigga on. Really interview you like that? Yes, I ended up going with my partner, and they said I was in Atlanta doing my uh, shows there for the weekend, and he knew Funny Marco and stuff like that. And he was like, "Uh, man, Kerwin in town doing me interview." He like bring him down. So I'm like, okay. Where the script? Now, who was like, this? It, it, uh, uh, it his was, name is uh, Big V. Okay. His name Big V. And so. he linked you up. Yeah. And we got in there. I'm like, okay. Everybody, they, he was doing some, uh, who was that? Ray J and um, what's Lil Wayne's daughter name? Ray uh, Janay? Ray Janay. Both of them was there. And I'm like, okay, uh, where, the, where the script is? Like, what what we do? And he talking to me while they micing me up and stuff. I'm like, how we how we gonna do this? He's like, you just sit in the chair and stuff like that. I'm like, okay. So he started 
cutting the camera on, went in. So everything he asking me, I'm like, okay, like, I'm looking crazy. I'm like, nigga, do I answer that for real? And I seen it, 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 I'm telling you, it feels so just he like that. He like it like that. Yeah, it's like that. And then when you think you cut the camera out, he still talk, he still record. So he enjoy the awkwardness. Yeah, yeah. You know, and and I talk. I, he probably been coming on my show, but the nigga done got too Hollywood. He too big <laughs> now. I ain't even expecting that. You know, y'all know how y'all do me. Yeah, you, you and don't not me. Nah. I don't <laughs> do you. Not you know me. how y'all do me. Nah, Carlos it, Miller, the only one showed up for me, and we just nigga. I'm here. Oh yeah, nigga. It, it, it was. This my first. Remember what I said? Yeah, this my first time. I can't. I can't, I can't knowing I can't, you wanted me I on the show. I can't, I can't even get mad. I at reminded you. my manager. I say, nigga, hit him up. Let's go do it. I try to work with everybody. I, I, I just, just know. Lie. I just know when you went on Funny Marco. I'm gonna go back to that. It was like he asked you, "Was you fake?" Yeah. It was. It, it was a few things he asked you. That was just one of the ones that stick out for me. Um, it seemed like you didn't know which angle he was coming at. I didn't. I love the way he interviewed. Yeah, I love it because it's different and it's heels. Yeah, anytime a nigga hustle, I love to hustle. I like the way Carlos Miller come in here. And me and him cut up and talk about country stuff. Mm -hmm. He can come back anytime. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. but then uh, you you work with him too, right? Yep. What you guys y'all did some shows together? Or yep. Just what made you guys link up? How did you even meet him? We from the same same. He from state. Mississippi. Yeah, we from the but same. But that don't state. mean he from the same city. We not from the same city. We from the same state. So. Ended up a promoter put both of us on the same show. Okay. I was the host. So automatically we we connected just like that. We ended up uh chilling now. He had his camera. Um he started giving me a shout out on his stuff and stuff That's like good. that. We uh we were supposed to do the show at a certain time. We didn't do the show till probably two two hours later because the prom promoter didn't have the money. He ain't have our money. So Was you upset? We went, nah, I wasn't upset. We you went to, uh, we went to. You supposed to kick the chair down or something? Nah, we was outside. We was actually waiting for him to come. He came. He was like, man, I'm waiting on the dude to come in and get the money. Then Carlos looking at me like, nigga, this, this sound like some nigga shit, right? <laughs> <laughs> Did you? <laughs> ask you. Ask you. But no, he love. said, it sound like, he, he looking at me. He like, well, nigga, we not doing the show until we get the money. <laughs> So he was like, y'all going up there and well, do it. Start, I been there. start the show and I'm going to pay y'all. I'm like, nigga, See, we not I doing that. Bed, no, nothing like that. I'm going to be laughing. I ain't gonna then nigga going to look at me. I'm supposed to be host. Nigga going to look at me. Set. Then nigga going to say, I give you some gas money. Uh -uh. Gas money. I don't know. I'm not finna get up there. You finna pay me. I ain't finna get up there. So we walked to the dollar store. Who is this promote? He still doing janky, it? Janky, janky promote. He still doing it? I don't know. You he ain't went back? Nope. He ain't booked me. What city we all in? Uh, Montgomery. He know who he is. Oh, Alabama. Yeah. 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 And if you hear his name come up, you'll never go. <laughs> <laughs> Run off on the plug, nigga. You cannot book me. Because I'm going to think the money counterfeit. I'm like, uh -uh. No, you cannot book me. So would you, I mean, the, the, Club Shay Shay, that's a that's a good podcast to go on. He getting crazy numbers, man. True. Like uh, he's having a lot of the brothers coming on there. Man, my boy Bubba Dub, you you know Bubba Dub. I work with that's him. That's my nigga right yeah, there. I work with him. Uh, how 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 did you link up with him? I didn't even know Prom if you knew him. Promoter, promoter, they linked y'all yep. in. Yeah, man, y'all got funny. a lot of new dope people, man. I don't know how y'all turn it on and off though. Y'all 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 up all night and they doing all these voiceovers. They oh, yeah. Bubba Dub about to break his bus his top vessel <laughs> in his mouth. About the Cowboys, about the Lakers, trash. Yeah, the trash. Mm -hmm. Like, like, like. That nigga funny, you man. guys have figured it out, bro. True. That and that's 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 why that's why we have so many problems because, like you said, you don't like y'all. Oh, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you, like, I don't work with some old niggas in my shows, like booking old niggas, putting them on my shows to feature and stuff. So it it's not a problem now. Back then, they was like, I don't think they nigga gonna last. Before they even seen what I did. Really? Yup. Then I don't but now who, it was, and you remember the niggas who did you like that? Y'all remember the niggas. And they really like like you I, cause in my I'm being honest with you, you guys come together, but really there's a there's a split in that whole situation. People talk about you guys like you guys really haven't had issues, you know, the stealing joke thing, you yeah. know. Uh have you had anybody steal your joke? Truth. Yes. What? <laughs> yes. Which one of your jokes? 
And then we ain't gonna say who. I'm not gonna say who. Nah, I'm not gonna say who. I ain't saying who. I was joking. This what y'all doing. This is what I said, y'all niggas doing. This what they doing. But that's you ain't the nigga know who he is. So it's only one person. It's more than one. Oh, it's more than one. But they gonna see this on YouTube, so the niggas gonna know. Oh, but that's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Listen, man, like, just still a joke. Like, 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 there are so many ways the jokes can be told. Do you think True. people sometimes, like my cousin, he was rapping and I heard a song on the radio just like his. This was probably 20 years ago. He was like, man, you stole my song. Nigga don't even know you. And your song didn't get big. Do you think the universe can line up a joke? Yep. All you got to do is li- you can listen to it and just switch it around. It's still your joke. But he might not have heard you. No, no, no. No, oh, no. This nigga heard you. you know. The nigga heard me. <laughs> the nigga heard me. Because he was on the show with you one no, day. No, the nigga heard me. <laughs> It's Trust me. known for stealing jokes. Like this nigga, somebody else be like, this yes. nigga. So he, he yes. can steal everybody jokes. Facts. So he, he ain't just throw one joke. He did this nigga he, to go around he, stealing the nigga, jokes. They say the nigga stealing jokes. So he have stole. you ever stole a joke? No. Or I reused or repurposed a, a joke? I haven't. That's why you got to come to my show and listen to my stuff. My stuff homemade. Wow. I'm in the kitchen whipping it. <laughs> I'm cooking the joke. So you see that? I'm whipping it. I'm the only nigga in there. I'm whipping <laughs> it. This me. I ain't never. No. No. <laughs> I cook my own stuff up. That's how I know a nigga stole from me. Because I was in the kitchen. I put the right ingredient in it. And I heard it. I said, hold up. Hold up. This nigga did using the same so? seasoning yeah, I said, Did you approach him? No, I didn't approach him. Why you I, say didn't, him? I didn't approach him. I'm, I mean, I did. Because I'm, you know me, you're going to have to come harder than that. I, I mean, hey, if it sound good, him using it. It got a lot of views. You like damn. So, yeah, I listen to my whole, matter of fact, my folks were calling me. I hear folks call, woo boy. They were upset. That nigga use your joke. Nigga, what you gonna do? They asking me. Nigga, I ain't finna fight. Our people might be in his comments. Your your fan might be in his comments and say that's such and such a joke. They did. They was like, hey, that joke, that's your joke, ain't it? That's yeah. crazy. Nigga I just run around here stealing. Do have anybody ever seen you like 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 you gonna come before them and they say, "Hey man, don't do these joke calls." Um, <laughs> don't, <laughs> have you ever done that to no, anybody? No, 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 no. Like don't don't do these calls. You know, um, I'm gonna be doing this. So try to stay away. Now, he try I, to explain actually, to you how to do the jokes before he come out so he can kill it. No, actually. Um, See with me, my I I get my crowd crazy, so uh, the guy was actually is like he wanted to go before me. He was like, I there's no way I can come behind you after you do that because he seen I did it in the first show. He was like, there's no way I can come behind that. Let me go first. I'm like, no, nah, nigga, you're not gonna go first. No, uh, uh-uh. uh, you just gonna have to you gonna step have to your game up. Yeah, that's all you gonna have to do. You know, they had a problem with that. Now that you say that, that's what Steve Harvey and, and, and Bernie Magnum, they talk about that, how going, he was trying to go before Bernie yeah, or go after Bernie at first, and it was just working him to death. And somebody, had heard, he, he get his story where somebody had heard all his jokes on something before he went out. I don't know how it went down, but I just know it, he, he, it was a very, very big falling out because of the way they had them organized on King of Comedy. Yeah. And they had to change it around and put Bernie Mac last uh, because of this whole situation. Like, you see these things happening in the comedy world, so you know these are real legitimate issues. Like, is it a place where you work with this guy? Let's talk about something positive. Like, who basically was dope and like showed you the utmost love. We can talk about them now. We can say the ones who now you ain't gotta hide the fact that a nigga showed you love or that brought you up where you he could have been like you know this, but he say hey man come on Kerwin we I, I want you to kill this with me yeah and y'all just got good chemistry. Who is that guy? Uh, that's a lot. I, I who I is one of those guys? Who was the first person to do that to you? Man, um, that just showed you mad love. And you didn't expect it. Sean, uh, Sean Jones. I don't know if you know him. Yeah, or not. Sean Jones Sean showed Jones. you love. I had a I had a weekend with Sean Jones. Uh, Jones. When I say it's, I'm talking about it's not it's not you know some comedians I work with I you know we don't meet up to the show, but I was you know we was together we were riding around the whole weekend. Wow. And he was showing me like and he an old school comedian he was showing me man do this like this. 
you know, showing me how to line stuff up, do mm-hmm. that like that. Him, um, Marcus Cone. Okay. Yeah. Showed you, mu- to showed you much love. Man, I love that nigga, dog. I'm wow. talking about, I actually, and I don't normally watch people sets, but... You his, don't really watch niggas do nothing. I don't because I be in the back. I, that's why, because I don't want a nigga saying, "Oh, you stole it from me, <laughs> nigga." I'm in the back. I'm yeah. on my phone on Facebook. I don't. I don't watch niggas. That's I don't. So he was on my show, and the joke he was doing, the nail jokes and the wheelchair stuff. I'm like, this nigga is funny. I stay out there the whole time and watch his shit just because he was funny. He was funny. Yep. I know Piper the comedian said when he first, the first person he ever went. Up with was Bernie Mac and mm-hmm. Bernie Mac. First thing he told him, nigga, don't steal my joke. They will. Yeah. <laughs> don't if, if niggas will come to your shows, act like they just want to support, but they really be coming there with that little pad writing down. I'm gonna mm. take this. I'm gonna switch it around. It was they do that, but hey, well, I'm in the kitchen every day, every day whipping it up, whipping it up. I love, I love the way you got you you found your own niche. Like I said, I told you same thing with Country Wayne. Nobody has done what you know Country Wayne is doing, mm-hmm. and uh, I always said. But see, Faison, that's another whole nother level too. People don't understand. They be like, "Oh, I see him in the comments saying Faison ain't funny." Or Faison, you, you better go do a show. I go, and I'm gonna tell you something. I don't care how much they both talk whatever about each other because it started on my show, so I, I have to talk about it a lot of times. Uh, where they don't, you know, they don't see eye to eye. But the one thing I can say, I go to both of them show. They both cater to two different crowds of people. Mm-hmm. You know, we've been mm-hmm. to both. They both, and there's enough know, to go around. Anyway, so much to go around. Like, yeah, so much. So now I got to ask you the question. You got something you want to say before I ask this question? It might be bad. Uh uh-uh. uh I got five. I want five go ahead. internet. Your top five internet comedians. Comedians and your top five. What was it? Three. Top three. three. Top three internet comedians. Top three uh, traditional stand-up comedians. Top three internet comedians. Me, me, me. I knew you were going to say you. Me? But you can't just say you. Yes, you, I can. You. That's wrong. Yes, I can. Man, you ain't yes, going to give nobody no love, I'm not, bro. I mean, every nigga funny. Show I'm saying nigga that. some love, nigga. Me. Oh, um, me. Why this nigga care one, man? He don't want to let a nigga I have can't, no... I can't just pile three bro, people Bro, show them up. niggas some love, man. Um, Country Wayne killing it when it come down to numbers. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean... But I mean, that ain't, I, I mean, I be your. I, I don't know. I, I, I watch him a little bit. He can't not, watch nobody. That's what I'm saying. I watch I watch his videos a little bit. That's all. Um, who funny? Um, God, dog. Me for one. I know you. Let me put me first. first. Let me put me first. Let me put me first. Because I ain't finna put a nigga before me. <laughs> Let me put me first. Um, um, who else? It's a lot, bro. Um, I don't know. You smell I you don't some know, else, man. It's too many. Um, no. I watch. I watched uh, the dude uh, Insta Trey Day. Okay, he funny. he funny. Yeah, he funny. I watch him. Um, who else? One more. It's too many, bro. I don't know. Me after that. See, I got a question. No, you got to give me the uh, traditional stand Because he, he ain't oh, trying to find out. Traditional. Oh, traditional. Oh, traditional. Easy, traditional yeah. Like old, older, yeah. older comedians oh, that came li- up. Living or dead. Either, either, either way. one. Either way. Um, Only three. Jamie Foxx. Mm-hmm. Who else? Martin Lawrence. Okay. I love Martin Lawrence. You Def do. Jam Martin Lawrence. No, I like Martin Lawrence uh, sitcom. Martin Lawrence. I do too, but that the, sitcom the Def Jam, the another level. level. The, the truth. So Martin Lawrence. But we're talking about stand up, so the Def okay. Jam one, that's all. Martin Lawrence. Um, Who else I said? Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx. And. Mm, I, I I love Bernie Mac. I'm not even. Mm. I thought that who because he he real like I thought that's who you would say. Some people might certain stuff they can't say. He didn't care, so he 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 just gonna say what he want. That's why I love Bernie Mac. Wow. Okay. I, my question is so um, 
Because no. I haven't been to <laughs> I haven't been to every um, comedy show, and you know, you travel a lot. You see a lot of different comedians. Um, is there any comedian that really just a lot of their show is just straight off the head? I mean, like, don't write any of their jokes. Is a straight off the dome. Carlos. Carlos. Is it's there. like I I watched this the show I did with him. I watched this nigga improv. For a 45 minute screen. Wow. Just off of the crowd. Mm-hmm. This, and you could tell when somebody improv in this joke. I literally watched him, and that was the show where it was probably about eight people there. Mm. So that probably why the promoter ain't gonna get down. Us yeah, he got down. Man, when I say this man was performing like it was a lot of people there, eight people. Yeah. And I learned from there, I was like, you know what? Man, no matter what, I'm just gonna. You no know, have fun like that. He improv the whole show. Gave them people they money work. Every time wow. I every time I go to see him and Bubba Dub, uh, as far as the internet side go, like cause they, I mean you know he's TV as well. Carlos kind of old school. He yeah, can't, yeah. You, you can't, can't put him in no new uh, internet, True. but he still rock like you know with the internet cause of the way he you know he's able to uh, adapt and transform you know what i mean mm-hmm. i know so. i stepped away for a second but i wasn't sure did you um go over how did you meet jesse the comedian not yet how no, did you meet how did you meet jesse yeah jesse oh, um, shout out to jesse the Paul i used to King. work at a uh, home hill i used to work at home hill and he needed a you know cna or something like that i used to do cna side work and i seen him coming in he failed and i was like let me help that little nigga up and ever since i picked him up he was like you don't never Snatch me up like the other people do. He was if like, you don't get the hell out of my, you just get your ass. <laughs> she up. looking like, oh, oh that's enough. No, 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 I get know you She looking like, oh, that's enough. I'm thinking, no, 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 just no. for real. He got no. hit by a football dude one day, nigga. Yeah. No, um, my manager had um put him on the show. How I met him, it was on one of my shows. He was hosting it, and. He he killed it. I'm not gonna lie. He killed it. Were you surprised? First. Yeah, cause when he was bringing them up, I'm like, hold hold on, nigga. What what we got going on here? This a nigga on crutches. What you like? He had the stick up there. I'm right. Like, Man, who, what you doing, dog? If we need somebody that bad, I stay on stage that long. <laughs> cause I didn't know. I'm like, hold on, this nigga just getting in it by the time now. But when he went up there, he killed he it. He killed I, it, Danny. From That's- that first day, he killed it. He was on my shows. Four, four straight years. That's crazy. Killing it. He, he, he do a great job, man. He do. I didn't yeah, even we were shocked because we went to Atlanta and saw him for the first time. He killed it. And that nigga I is was hilarious. Up. For real. He killed it, and you yeah. don't even know. You don't expect. You don't that. expect. It. Don't, that don't you don't saying. expect that. Because when he getting up there, everybody looking like, oh, what, what's going on? Exactly. I gotta ask you these questions. You can't get off Boss Talk One on One without getting uh-oh, these damn questions. Uh-oh. Uh, P Diddy. <laughs> yeah, nigga. P. Diddy is going through all hell. They got a new picture of him looking like Danny Glover. It's going viral right now. Uh, they say he's stressing out. How do you see P. Diddy ending up uh, two years from now, three years from now? Uh, the smoke clears. What happens with P. Diddy? I don't know. I, I think he going to stay in some mess. You don't think he going to? No, it's, it's too much going on. It, that why that gray hair coming out is too much. That nigga scratching. It's too, it way too much, for real. It's too much, too much. And his whole beard was black. <laughs> My you see, how the, you <laughs> see how the nigga picture look at that nigga scratching. That nigga like, I'm finna Because he you. probably used to die, and now he don't care. Nah, wait, that nigga should have showed us he was dying, because now <laughs> yeah, we know yeah, there's so much died, going man, on. So he just didn't come out like this. Man, look at his eyes. You ain't even got pay attention <laughs> to the beard. <laughs> he about to hurt Man, that nigga scratching. So in three years, you think he'll be stressed out more? Nah, three you think years. he gonna let it go? He, he, he might, get... he might fake his death in three years. He's gonna be too much stuff on him. It's well, you know, he in the high seat. Came, uh, you don't I'm, think prison time gonna come into it? I don't think so. He got too much money. Yeah, he got too I much. That's what I'm saying. So. He gonna some, some. I don't know. I think Sirac dropped him. Yeah, I think so. Alle- allegedly. How allegedly. Y'all say allegedly. Allegedly. But I don't know. It's just too much going on. I don't, you don't, mm. you, yeah, so you don't. What do you think about the Nicki Minaj and Megan Thee Stallion? Yeah, I don't. Thing. I don't watch it. You don't, don't watch, watch it? That. Yeah, I don't watch it. Because that's so crazy because the thing is that um, I read something today to think that the fans of Nicki Minaj will take it that far as where 
they're trying to have extra security at Megan's mama's grave I, to no, make okay, sure I seen that, yeah. that they don't come and like That's crazy. defile her grave or do anything to her grave. I'm like, you really would take it that far for a Nicki Minaj? That's yeah. crazy. I, you y'all done did it on this internet. You young? Yeah, you. Nah, not me. Yeah, you. You, 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 you are the boys in the hood. Great uh, point. But saying, then you yeah, gonna blame you, it on you. the fans? You gonna say, well, she didn't tell the fans to go do it? This internet up to where everybody living. We ain't doing like that. Like that for real. Them crazy fans right there. Man, Man. That's, that don't make no sense. That's At too all. crazy. Have you ever been to jail? Hmm? <laughs> Have you ever been to jail? <laughs> He's like, which time? In your life? I have. I've been to I've been to a holding center. Let's say that. He said, for, for, for tickets. I never. For tickets. I never. No, I've never been to, oh, he been a holding cell. What, 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 what's the nice say? Um, I've never been to prison, jail. Oh, okay. <laughs> really? I do your research, boo boo. I've never been to prison, jail. Mm -mm. So, I, I was in the holding center, and the reason I said holding center because what I was happened, not. Man? I was not there long. What happened? Fight. Nah, somebody trashed the gymnasium at our school. And they thought they fit, I you did. Fit the description. Yeah, because I walked up in there <laughs> and I'm looking around. I'm like, man, they messed this up. Police come in thinking we did it. I'm like, come on, I ain't do. What they say? Get up against the wall. Nah, they just said, come on, come with man, us. How old was you at the time? You was in high school, so I was in middle school. Damn, Damn boy. boy. I was Damn, in, let me tell you something. Dog. No, I was back you at was the back bad. of the you gym. You was bad. I was drinking beer. Oh no! Listen, I'm gonna tell you why. In I'm middle school. Get, listen, uh, listen. I stole my stepdad. He used to drink Heineken beers. You know the ones that you yes. gotta have that thing to take uh -huh. off. I didn't have one in them. I busted on the oh, ground. No. I'm on the back drinking. I heard somebody coming, so I threw it away. Walked in the gym. Boom, we looking at the gym like, oh, it's busted. You know, it's, it's messed up. That's when the police come in thinking we did it. And you smell I like thought that was coming around. They smell like oh, I ain't say nothing. I'm like, mm-mm. I was doing that. You even smell my breath. What y'all doing in here? I'm like, mm-mm. They probably thought I was in special aid. I'm mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Then how did get with kicking in too? Sure. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Whole time I'm shaking my head, foam in my mouth. They probably think I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> did, you, did you um I, I asked you about jail, not for that, but yeah. that was good. I asked you been to jail for nothing but, else. But I was I was thinking about my boy, you know, a blue face, he in jail and Krishan, she's taking the tattoo. She covered this up when they broke up. She yeah. had one right here. Now she has one here. And okay. gonna be, it's gonna be another rose connected. Watch. What? Cause what? that's all you can get to cover up some in the rose. <laughs> that's so she have another one of his face. Yeah, they right showed a picture when she oh, had I didn't see that yeah, one. It's, it's huge. I didn't see that one, but I know that she moved back into his place though. Yes, yeah, so all I was, I have to ask you these questions. This is what's happening, you know, in the world today. Uh, so, so have you, you ever I, spoken to a girl that crazy? That's though? What I, no, I ain't gonna say that crazy, but have you had uh, a girl that <laughs> did she that leave look, a note? Uh, did look. she break a window? A I, thin I, line? Had, I had a, I had a crazy girl before. Did I you have it. to hold her because she was tripping so hard? She was trying to clutch. What you? did she do? Mm. The craziest thing. Boy, y'all getting it on. Yeah, we kind of like that. We just mm. be talking. Nah, she was crazy. She was crazy. She was from Chicago. She was crazy. Mm. I'm not going to say her side. name. Southside. I'm not going to say her name, but she was crazy. Like, we used to always... And she was a sweet girl Beautiful at girl. times. Yeah. Sweet. That's how they until start. You, until Kerwin, you do something Kerwin, to her. Kerwin, For real. Kerwin. She was a nice Did she talk lady. low at first? Yeah, Kerwin. real low. What yeah, happened then? How did she talk then? Oh, she, uh, you know, all that <laughs> having Chicago folks talk. <laughs> on phone them. I'm like, what? <laughs> on who? When she said that phone them, I'm like, uh uh, she got to go. She left what, that. But was, what did she do? To she was, she was just crazy, How? bro. Like, for real. She little fighting. That girl fights. I'm like, this she ain't the life for you? me. Yeah, constantly. I'm like, this ain't the life for me. I be trying to hold her. I'm like, hey, I ain't hitting you. I be blocking these. Like, come on now. I ain't finna do too many to block it. <laughs> What's she telling you? Because you trying to text other girls? No, he he trying to leave. I'm trying to leave. He trying to leave. I but know exactly she was crazy, that. bro. I'm talking about, like, yeah. she was sneaky and crazy. Like, the last time I knew I had to leave, when we got into it, she probably been like, if you on your birthday, I'm going to say it, because we here now, and I ain't with her no more. It's been years. <laughs> um, If you having a birthday party, your birthday, you supposed to, okay, say, Say she having the birthday party. Okay. Is you gonna stay at home or you gonna celebrate with her? 
I'm gonna it's, it's it's just her by herself. You gonna let her go by herself and celebrate her birthday by herself? No. Okay. So so I'm like, okay, what going on? You going to your birthday? You ain't never spent your birthday by yourself. You going out of town? I'm like, come on now. I'm I got two sisters. Don't try to run a game on me. You try to go stay somewhere else. So we got into it about that. And I'm like, okay, go where you going. Me, I ain't been arguing with you. Once you go. say that, she know that nigga's like, gonna do something. And it was. <laughs> and I was I'm like, go. You know who I am. Go. I try to tell her, go. Oh, she ain't like that. We in there. You trying to hold her? Yeah. I'm trying to hold her. I'm talking about this all you hear up in there. I'm like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> and she ended up getting a candle. And she hit me right. Damn. When I, you can see the scar. She busted. She me left you with a mark. I Forever. said, "Oh, you about to die!" I told her. <laughs> and she seen the blood come. I didn't oh, even know the blood oh, coming down. You, oh, you blacked out. Did when she I, take off when running? When I grabbed the, the hand, I had the uh, what's the uh, the Thor? Yeah, what's the, yeah. with the wings. I had the hand to go to a neck. But some said, "Don't get, don't, don't do, do it. it. You, you going to jail, jail nigga. You going to jail." So before I could do that, she was like, "Oh." Doing like that. I'm like, yeah, you better be scared of me. She like, no, you bleeding. Blood start running down. She like, oh, let go to the hospital. I'm talking about. Oh, she want to take care of you she now. She want to take care of Oh, <laughs> when that blood start coming, I'm thinking I'm sweating. I did the little Michael Jackson. Little. She done hit that boy. Boy, she done cut this right. I'm talking about it was so bad that if you do like this, spread it, you, you can see, see in the inside. Does she, did oh, she we take went you to the, to the hospital? She took me to the hospital. They got up in there. I'm like, what happened? I looked at her. I said, you about to go to jail. <laughs> I'm finna tell you. No, I'm I'm looking like I'm like, oh shit, oh, I'm so sorry. She panning and everything. They like, what happened? I was like, I was trying to get something out the closet and the family uh -uh. hit me in the head. You try to save her. Yeah, trying to save her. I should have let her but got did locked you, up. Did y'all y'all I'm gonna tell you what you done. You what? you went back and made up with her, didn't you? I did. I and did. that's what it's good makeup. Yeah, makeup I did sex. makeup sex. I did. It got you. I did. That's it did. what it did. gets you. It did. That's it the did. part where you it gotta did. break away because that is that's vice, man. That's but but good. after that she was gone. You I knew just it was got over. It. Yeah, I, I when she gave it to me like, little do you know we finna be done. Yeah, her. You just give me this and you finna go. It's a goodbye present. Yeah, that's all it was. That's all I didn't tell her. The next day I'm like, you know what? This just too much for me. Uh, let me for real. I'm I'm at the house thinking about Harry Tubman. She passed away. <laughs> let, it's too much on me. I, I'm like, and we then can't she take that, and she just said okay. She was okay with. It. That's how I knew she had another she new. Knew. She, yeah. Oh damn. I mean, I'm like, she was like, it's it's okay. Whatever. Do what you do. Karen, what? Where's the show at uh, uh, this weekend? Where you at? I'm off this weekend. What? I took, I took a break. That's I'm hard, off. man. So, yeah. so I didn't know y'all take breaks. Oh, yeah, I, I do. I do. I can tell I when do. they take them. I, I call certain people. I, I cancel the day of the show. No, you I'm don't. Just, so if I if I feel bad, I hate to say it. If I feel bad, I'm gonna tell you. I only cancel shows if something come over my daughter. I don't yeah. play by my kids. How many, you, how many kids you got? I don't play by my <laughs> kids. Um, that many. No, 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 no. <laughs> what kind of car you drive? A uh, different kind. That's it, what's up. It's, it's, it's he like, didn't even know the temperature was going to be like his <laughs> out here. That's what's crazy about it. The temperature, when we was coming home, it was kind of cool. I had a hoodie on, and we got here. I'm like, nigga, it's hot here. But y'all got some good temperature. What? <laughs> what? Y'all got some good okay, temperature. Up and coming shows. What's, what you got up and coming that you're excited about? Uh, 2024 first quarter. Movies. I got another movie with my... Uh, you got two movies? Wait. I just did do. Matter of fact, let me tell everybody this Tubi movie, movie. This, huh? Tubi movie. Nah, it's gonna it's gonna be on Tubi. It's gonna be on Amazon. Amazon. It's gonna be on um, BT Plus. Okay. That's good. But the thing about this movie, for my scene, when you watch it, you got to pause it, or you gonna miss me. I'm just in there. It's real quick. Pause it and look. I'm in there. You're a movie star, though. Yeah, exactly. A That's superstar. what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Do you actually say anything though? Yeah, I say something. What you say? You got to pause it and see. <laughs> they didn't give me a mic. My lips were like this. I ain't supposed to say it nothing, but I said something. Yeah, you will get to get your one. Yo, yo, you go get your I got, I got, uh, I got two scenes in there. They got me with two scenes. It was some somebody blessed me with. But this next, uh, the producer hit me up last week, and she got another movie coming out. It's gonna be more scenes and stuff. I'm like, yeah, I want it. What's mm. the okay? And and as you you do these movies, and what's the what's the end game? Who you want to work with, Denzel? Or I want to work. Yeah, who I, you trying to work with? Uh, you and Gary Owens gonna do another thing like a man? I don't know. You, <laughs> I don't know. Say anybody want to work, work with, with you? Yeah, I, Gary, anybody. I say I Gary Owens, Kevin Hart, Hart, Kevin Hart, Hart, Hart. Yeah, that'll be hard. Yeah, I love to work with him. I want to work with anybody that's funny. That's the thing. Phase on love. Yeah. I work with him. Would you work with Tiffany Haddish? 
Yeah, you gonna have she. She crazy. She remind me of my sister. So she, <laughs> yeah, I work with her. Yep, <laughs> <I> man. <laughs> I will. You'll work with anybody that'll work with you long as my, anybody. If that money right, that when you be like, oh, I'm gonna have to just go. On. I don't even have to think about this. Is there a certain role that you would not do, or you don't? Gay role. Can? I ain't kissing a nigga. I'm gonna let you know I'm top. <laughs> I ain't doing. Don't ask me. Twenty million. I ain't doing it. Man, I be in that sucker fight. I wish a nigga would try to kiss me. Can you play okay. an action role, like Who? serious action role? Yeah, I can. You can. I gotta laugh first. Though. It's gonna be a lot of cuts. What? What? What you gonna do? You've been practicing taekwondo or something? No. Cause they they stop in slow mo this stuff. People don't really. Speed oh, I it can up. do that. I can do it in slow mo, like moving and stuff. No. I can do all that. I, I, I can do all this. Oh, now you doing the Chinese? Yeah, talk about the Chinese. I seen it. I seen it. I can do all that. How can people get a hold to you, man? They try to rock out with you, man. <laughs> Instagram, cause your Instagram got millions. Ooh, I mean, got millions. I'm on. I'm you ain't on. getting paid. I don't like Instagram. Let me tell you, it's, I'm, a, it's I'm upset with Instagram. Instagram, my eye is little money. TikTok, no money. <laughs> I barely post on there. You Facebook, get, <laughs> Facebook. I'm demonetized on Facebook. What happened? Somebody hating. Just be reporting my stuff. Really? Yeah, I ain't been. Boy, I ain't been making money in. Well, over six years on Facebook. When you look, it's red on there when they talk yep. about it. everything red. You be like, what, what did I, I do? I got so many red you lights. You ever appeal it? I appeal it, and then they just tell me something is completed. They done made their decision. <laughs> I'm like, nigga, I'm finna appeal it again. Do you think, because Dame, Dame Dash say that we, with the advertising and the way things are, we're getting pennies on the dollar. True. And and we don't know how much YouTube making. They but, chilling it. Yeah, but... But it's theirs. Yeah. I don't even make no money like that. On, on YouTube. YouTube? Because you don't I concentrate made like on 19, it. I, I don't. Stuff. You don't concentrate on it. And I you got don't treat it like you yeah. on Instagram a lot. And that's crazy to me. A lot. I'm on that's Instagram. That's crazy to me, me Kerwin. Me. I know you killing it, but yep. you can't do get, that. I know. I got to get on YouTube. You know who figured it out? Who doing good? Who? Uh, he calls himself Myron Jewel now. Uh, Cheating uh, ass Myron. Myron. He did good. He, he, I seen him... Shift, mm -hmm. yeah, to where he knows. Okay, this is yeah. where it count. Yeah, and you got to realize when you talk to these guys and they say, or when they come in here and they show me they're making three hundred thousand, a hundred thousand a month off I YouTube, wish I could see that. off of YouTube. Yeah, it make you reevaluate what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen somebody show you a hundred and some thousand a month consistently for the last ten months? Well, what mm -hmm. that don't that ain't enough motivation for you to you yeah, and what you I doing just, works. Uh, yeah, why uh, are you not working it? It's a lot. And you you know got I'm gonna tell you got content. You got content. You got content. But the thing about it, my stuff, I need to, I need to, I, I got to find out this social media stuff. I'm not even gonna lie because I'm you old. killing it. I know. I'm just, I just Me, post your your character and what you're doing is fit for YouTube. Yeah, but the thing about it. People that's got my content, they making more money off of it than me. So my views on YouTube be like 32,000. Their stuff over millions. millions. It's matter. my content. You can't focus on them. True, but that's what I'm saying. When I post, my stuff don't jump like It don't that. matter. It's because you, you're not giving it a chance to do it. I do. You got to focus on it. Just I like am. you do that character. Yeah. Just like you always, you focus on that. And that's your, and, and those shows, your ass is at every show, you consistently on the damn road. I see it all the time. Yeah. I watch your page. Mm -hmm. This nigga is focused on going to get that bag tonight. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Well, you need to put it up on your channel before they put it up on theirs. Well, he do, do but then he don't, he don't do push a, it. He don't yeah. push I need to do a claim thing, though. So right. when I post it and anybody else post it, I would get paid. But you live, bro. And I'm she can show you that. I know you got the thing you can share with him mm -hmm. as far as on how to collectively bring it back to him. That's what I want. And for Facebook, they do that on Facebook. Man, these folk blowing up TikTok. You go on TikTok, I got billions of mentions. From my videos. Wow. So so you just gonna have to figure it out. But I'm telling you now, you need to get that YouTube. Yeah, yeah I, need, that's I ain't your, never had that a, Instagram a chick. That inst that Instagram is crazy, but they don't pay nothing, nah, bro. It ain't and Man. I be going I be going viral on Instagram. That money ain't it ain't it ain't nothing. Listen, man. Check it, man. What else did we did we forget anything? 
All right. I hope you enjoy boss talk. You, you gonna come back? Yeah. You can't this Yeah, you ain't got to worry about nah, somebody. Every, every, every Not nah, because you gonna try to call me out. Months, right? No, nah, nah. I got I'm getting your phone number. I'm gonna start calling oh, where the hell I'm gonna you my right. people number. You got a people? <laughs> nah, but I will get you to get a people. Yeah, I'm they gonna thought come I had back, a beep on Ice T neck that time. Yeah, they got a beep on that nigga. I said that's the damn mic. Nah, I'm gonna come back though. You always come back, man. Cause like I said, that's what this here for, to tell the people what's going on with our people yeah. that's why I built it you know what I mean mm -hmm. it, it wasn't that at first at first it was just from where I can talk crazy to folks but it turned into <laughs> oh yeah it's, you got some oh Go man you're always some. welcome to come here man I'm Thank gonna you. come even if you don't tell me nigga I'm come. telling you you can I'm come right. every I'm time. outside nigga come yeah, on down let me get them cameras set up nigga don't play <laughs> check it man thank you so much for coming on the show man Curvin one of the dopest comedians now that he been on Boss Talk 101 it's only up from here it's up. Man. And when it's up there, it's stuck there. It's up there. It's been another great, and she's, they say she stole that song. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk. Stop, stop stealing. I wonder where the boss is talking. But I want, oh, yeah, 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 you yeah. Started. Yeah, get down in these comments, man. Make sure you watch these next clips. Get down. Uh, Kerwin. Get down Kerwin. in them comments. Get down in them comments. We need you to get we all the way get down, down in them comments. Kerwin, hey, get in them comments and make sure you look at that next video that's going to be right here, right, right, Blow right it up. Mm -hmm. All about curling. And don't forget, let me tell y'all, if y'all like this clip that you just watched, the next clip is even more hilarious because he is a fool with it. All right? Wow. Thanks. Man, it's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. What a boss is talk. And see what the <laughs>